Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. This week we're going to cover the Taurus Judge. The Taurus Judge is a 5-shot revolver produced by Taurus and was designed to shoot 410 bore shot shells as well as the 45 Long Colt cartridge. It is promoted by Taurus as a self-defense tool or the home defense weapon. Originally it was designated as simply the model 4410, then later the 4510 as that model number reflected its versatility in being able to use both the 45 Long Colt or the 410 shot shell. It was supposedly given the name the Judge in 2006 when Taurus's executive vice president learned that judges in high crime areas in Florida were purchasing the revolver for personal defense inside their courtrooms. Whether or not that's really true, it makes for good marketing, and this revolver has went on to become one of Taurus's top-selling firearms. Even though it was designed to utilize shotgun shells, it's not classified as a short-barreled shotgun as its barrel is fully rifled, except in California where they do classify it as a short-barreled shotgun, and therefore you're not allowed to own it unless you file the paperwork to have it designated as an all-other weapon. Just another example of the People's Republic of California doing their part to keep the people safe from themselves, I suppose. The Judge is currently available in several finishes and styles, with barrel lengths in 2.5, 3, or 6.5 inches. Two cylinder lengths are available to accommodate either 2.5 inch shells or 3 inch shells. Fiber optic front sights with fixed rear or standard, however adjustable sights are available as options. Finishes come in matte black or stainless and a polymer frame version is available. Taurus did a lot of testing in developing the rifling to find a happy medium for the ammo types available for it. They settled on a shallower rifling than that typically used as it was able to stabilize pistol bullets but does not fully engage shot wadding which helps to reduce the shot used in shot shells from being overly dispersed. The trade-off, however, was that single projectile pistol bullets would not be stabilized as well as in a traditional pistol, and shot dispersion is still greater than in a traditional smoothbore shotgun barrel. Proponents of the judge point to the utility of being able to use both traditional bullets as well as shot shells, and that the faster dispersion of shot allows for higher hit probability. Opponents, on the other hand, point to less accuracy being possible with traditional bullets and a greater chance of collateral damage or injury to innocent bystanders. Regardless of which camp you may be in, the primary issue is on the accuracy and shot dispersal. So in today's video, we're going to try to demonstrate this so that you can have more information available to you to make a decision on if the Judge is the gun for you. The gun that I'll be using for this test is the Judge Ultralight, an alloy framed lightweight version specifically designed for defensive carry with a 2.5 inch barrel and the shorter 2.5 inch cylinder. I've had this model for several years and it's now been discontinued and replaced by the Judge Polymer versions which fill that lightweight category. So let's head out to the range and see how it does. And we're at the range today with the Taurus Judge. Going to go ahead and put a couple different kinds of uh, shot shells through it to see what it does. Now the, the Taurus Judge was designed to be a self-defense pistol. Uh, so it is a rifled barrel. So rifling when it comes to uh, shot uh, shell uh, will disperse it rather quickly. So we're basically 15 yards from our target. So I'll be taking some shots at it, and we'll see what it does as far as uh, opening up. Uh, this is uh, going to be some number eight uh, shot, so we'll go ahead and take some shots and see what it does. Okay, so we have our target here, and I was aiming, point of aim was right here. Now, this is opened up, you probably can't see these holes on the video footage, but there's only a couple pellet holes in the center. Most of them have opened up to this area here, and I've got pellet holes in my framing. Now, the, that's the farthest one over I can see there. There's one here. Got one right here, and there's a couple right there. So it's opened up. I, It's looking like probably about a five or six foot diameter circle at 15 yards. So um, it, it really is opening up fast and really much farther distance at all. And it would be 
largely completely ineffective, at least with number eight shot. So we'll go ahead and try some, uh, some heavier shot and see what it does. Okay, next I've got some uh, number four shot. We'll go ahead and try that and see what it does. Now, I've only got four shells of this, so we'll go ahead and fire those four shells. There again, I'm going to aim at the center mass on that target, and then we'll, we'll see how it opens up. Now the uh, holes it's making are just slightly bigger, so you probably can't tell there, but uh, from where I'm at, I can see a couple new holes. And it, there again, there's two pellets, in the, two pellets in the center X. We got a couple here, there. So there again, it's, it's opened up pretty good size as well. Here's, so it's opened up there. It's opened up almost as big, which, which makes sense. Really, the, the shot uh, size is not that much greater. So, okay, next we're going to try uh, some triple lot buck and see what it does. Uh, pellets are quite a bit larger with this, so uh, it shouldn't open up quite as far, so we'll go ahead and take a look. There again, I'm going to be aiming at the center mass on the target. Okay, now the double lot buck clearly makes larger holes. You can probably even see them on the target at this point. Uh, point of aim was right here at the X. I've got one in the X ring, one just outside it. And then it's opened up pretty good size. There's one here, 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 there. So we've got one here and one there. So it looks like I'd say it's probably opened up about a two foot circle radius at this point with most of it impacting within that circle. We got 15 impact holes. Next, we have uh, the uh, PDX rounds. These are uh, specially designed for the Taurus Judge, actually. Uh, they consist of several large shot as well as three slug discs. Uh, they pack quite a wallop when you're shooting them. Uh, so there again, I'll be aiming at the center mass X, and uh, we'll see what it does. Okay, down at the target, point of aim was right around in this area right here. Uh, it did come up a little bit. That was probably me pulling a little bit, quite honestly. So we have most of our impacts right here in this section. So it's opened up, I'd say, just about a foot. Um, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So all of the large slug discs have hit in that circle there. Uh, we do have a couple of the smaller shot holes. Now these are about BB sized. Uh, we've got a couple that have opened up. Uh, we got there a couple. So they've opened up maybe two feet, maybe two and a half feet. So it creates a fairly large spread pattern of the BB shot with the larger slugs hitting more center of aim. Okay, we're going to move on now to some 410 slugs. These are just a, a single slug, just regular 410 variety. Okay, 
and I'll be aiming at obviously the center of the target so we'll, we'll see what it does. And the final round we're going to fire today is 45 Long Colt. So we'll go ahead and take some shots with that and see how it does. Keep in mind this is far from a scientifically controlled test. The overall sample size, shooting offhand, and the estimation used when measuring places this test in the realm of a directional study only. However, I do think we're able to learn some valuable information. At the range, all shots were fired at 15 yards, the standard range I use for testing pistols. A shotgun shot pattern will open faster as shot size and weight go down. Rifling will magnify that effect a great deal, and our tests support that. The first load was number 8 birdshot, which in this shell generally contains about 200 pellets. At 15 yards, the fired rounds had opened up to an average diameter of about 6 feet, and with the initial shot I counted 64 hits, or about 32% hit ratio. When we move up to the number 4 shot, the shells contain about 67 pellets, and they opened up to about 5 feet, and the initial shot achieved 16 hits, or about 24%. The triple watt buckshot tightened significantly to about a 2 foot average, and the initial shot achieved a 100% hit ratio, with 3 out of 3 of the pellets hitting the target. However, as can be seen, when all 5 shots are measured and the pattern size is taken into account, I would hesitate to say that it would truly be a 100% hit ratio, with 13 hits out of 15, so 86% would be more accurate. When we look at single projectile loads, such as shotgun slugs and 45 long colt rounds, the shallow rifling, short barrel length, and small fixed sights pretty much ensure that it's not going to provide great accuracy. However, for purposes of a short-range self-defense weapon, I would say it's acceptable. What about the PDX Defender rounds? These rounds were designed with the judge in mind, and they're a marriage of buckshot and birdshot. They consist of three slug discs and 12 plated bb size shot in each round, and they're loaded on the hot side to boost velocity, which you can feel when you shoot them. While the slug discs perform fairly well, all 15 discs fired from the 5 rounds landed within about a foot overall. The BBs, well, they were less impressive. Out of the 60 total pellets contained in the 5 rounds, only 13 hit the target. That's only a 21% hit ratio. So what does all of this mean? Well, for the proponents of the judge, it means that with the large spread pattern it delivers, you have a much better chance of hitting your target even if your aim is slightly off. The opponents will point out that a hit ratio of 21 to 32 percent means that you're missing your target 68 to 79 percent of the time. Even the PDX Defender, while achieving an impressive 100 percent hit ratio with the slug discs, delivers 79 percent of its pellets, the BB sized ones, to things that you're not aiming at. What are you perhaps hitting that's not your target? Knowing how it performs is key for this weapon. At 15 yards using buckshot, slugs, or 45 long colt, I would say it performs okay for self-defense. Any other shell presents the real risk of collateral damage. But keep in mind, that's 15 yards. Typical self-defense scenario, such as in a home, the range would typically be within 7 yards. That's going to cut those spread patterns to less than half. So while there's still the risk of collateral damage, it's greatly reduced. Care would still need to be taken if a shot is taken, but that's always the case. These days, we have another possibility to take into consideration as well. In years past, the typical self-defense scenario consisted of single, or perhaps two assailants. These days, the real possibility of mass assailants exists. In that situation, the large spread pattern could be of a great benefit. Hopefully something you never need to worry about, but still need to weigh in in consideration of any defensive weapon. 
So what is my final opinion of the judge? Is it my go-to weapon? Well, no, it's not. However, I do own this gun, and it is in my home defense lineup. I know its limitations, and I'm comfortable with them. All firearms are a trade-off of some type, and I would never tell anyone what weapon that they have to use. Only you can make that decision if it's right for you, and my goal is to provide information to assist in that. I hope that this video is of value. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next week, stay safe.